The objective of this lesson is to use understanding of area and perimeter to design an outdoor space. This task should be a review and application from previous lessons and is meant to be a bit of a challenge. Constructive struggling will be to the students an advantage as they work through and problem solve this fun task. Your school was given a plot of land that measures 20 feet by 25 feet. The principal is looking for ideas on how to design the new area. Choose at least five of the following features to use in your design. Each feature is rectangular and should be separated by a walking path that is at least one yard wide. Features must be at least one foot away from the edge of the property. Draw and label your design on graph paper. The first thing we will need to do is determine what scale we will be using on our graph paper. Let's use one square equals one square foot. Let's choose five things from the list to include in our play area. Let's choose the garden, swing set, weather station, splash pad, and picnic table. Next, the total area for each of the features is listed as total square feet. That means we need to determine the size of the rectangle that would make the area for each of the features we want to use. From third grade, we know that the area is determined by two factors multiplied together, representing the length and the width. Let's start with a garden that has 28 square feet. What are the factors multiplied together that will make 28 square feet? We know that 1 times 28 is 28, 2 times 14 is 28, and 4 times 7 equals 28 square feet. Which one of these would be the best shape for a garden? If we want a garden to be more square, we would choose the dimensions 4 by 7 feet. Let's put the garden in the upper left corner. We know that we must leave one foot from the outer edge, so we need to have one square away from each edge. Next, let's place the weather station. The weather station needs 40 square feet. What factors multiplied together would give us the length and width of our weather station? If we list the factor pairs, we would have 1 times 40, 2 times 20, 4 times 10, and 5 times 8. Let's turn 5 times 8 around and have 8 times 5 as the area for the weather station and place it in the bottom left corner, remembering to leave one foot from the edge of the graph paper. Now let's find the area for the splash pad. The factor pairs for the area are 1 times 81, 3 times 27, and 9 times 9. Let's have the splash pad take up 9 times 9 feet to equal 81 square feet and place it at the top right corner of our graph paper. Again, we need to leave one foot from the edge of the graph paper. We will place the swing set next. We know the area for the swing set is 42 square feet. The factors we can multiply together to make 42 are 1 times 42, 2 times 21, 3 times 14, and 6 times 7. If we make it long and thin, we could have more swings. Let's make it 3 feet times 14 feet. We will place it on the bottom right corner of the graph paper, leaving one foot from the outer edge. The last feature we need to add is the picnic table. It takes up 21 square feet. The factor pairs for the table would be 1 times 21 and 3 times 7. We will use 3 foot by 7 foot dimensions. Let's place it in the center of the graph. Hmm. According to our directions, there needs to be a walking path at least one yard or three feet separating the other features. It looks like we cannot get it to fit unless we change the direction of one or more of our features. Let's change the direction of the garden array from 4 times 7 to 7 times 4. We can see that we have a three foot path from any other feature, so it will be acceptable. Please note that another way to solve this task could be to cut out all the arrays in graph paper that represent the different features and then move them around the graph paper until they all fit. The objective for this lesson was to use understanding of area and perimeter to design an outdoor space. We met this objective by writing factor pairs for each of the features we wanted to use and creating arrays that fit the square feet of the features for our design. We then had to make sure that we had one foot from the outer edges and three feet for a walking path between each of the features.